What's happening everybody? Len here with the Potter Stackers and I want to make a video today. I've been thinking a lot about what it means when we say that silver and gold and precious metals act as a hedge against inflation. Um, I have a lot of people um, in my family that want to know like what does it what does it actually mean? So I want to break this down and what I did is I went on reference.com to search what everyday items cost in 1964. Here's why that's important, because in 1964, our money was silver. Our half dollars, our quarters, and our dimes were 90% silver. And so in today's money, okay, $1.40 in face value is one ounce of silver, okay? And we can talk about spot price, but I'll tell you that an ounce of silver today, you cannot buy for less than about 32 to $33 an ounce. Okay, so that's the math I wanna use here, all right? So according to reference.com, in New York City in 1964, and of course in 1964, that's a, obviously a, a more expensive city to live in, right? So we're kind of talking in extremes. So in 1964, New York City, the rent for a two bedroom apartment in, down, in a downtown neighborhood would have cost $250 per month. $250 per month. Now, in 1964, an ounce of gold was $35.35. So to pay your rent with gold, you would have needed 7.07 .07 ounces. 7.07 .07 ounces. Now, the cost of gold today I haven't checked spot, but it's around 1800 to 1850. I used 1850 for the math. All right, so that same amount of gold today, because of the loss of buying power of the dollar, is actually $13,079.50. All right? Um, cost of a gallon of milk was 93 cents. Let's just say 75, 85. $95, $0.95 cents here. $0.95 cents is what a gallon of milk costs. Now, you take this $0.95, $0.95, cents, let's just round this up to a dollar for easy math. In 1964, this dollar today is $25. $25, okay? So that's just how the math works out when we say it's a hedge against inflation precious metals that is. Let's get into some other interesting things that I found, all right? Um, or the minimum wage, rather, was $1.15 per hour. So let's just say a buck 20 here, all right? That is $28.75 in today's silver, all right? So that's how inflation affects us, all right? The average annual income was $6,000. Again, if you were paid in gold, you would have gotten 169.73 ounces of gold. In today's value at $1,850, that would be $314,000 and 50 cents. Okay, starting to see how inflation is stealing from you. Okay, a gallon of gas. 25 cents. This sitting Liberty, seated Liberty quarter, 25 cents for a gallon of gas. That's $6.25 in today's money. Okay. The basic cost, uh, okay, other things, real basic uh, things. Two cans of cola were 27 cents. Again, we know that's six bucks. I can tell you right now, $2 of Diet Mountain Dew cost me $3.50. So I would actually get change back. All right. Um, if you're a smoker, cigarettes were a buck 60. $1.50, 60 cents right there. Okay. And again, this is $40. That's $40 worth of silver right there. Okay, starting to get it. Starting to see how this, this is working out here. This gets incredibly, incredibly more interesting. Loaf of bread, 30 cents. Loaf of bread, 30 cents. This is $6 in today's money. 
okay? And silver, $6 worth of silver. Um, let's see, let's get into some other interesting things. Larger purchases also are good indicators of the overall standard of living. The average house cost $13,050, okay? And the average rent was $115 a month. Let's break that down. $35.35 if you were to pay for that house in gold, it would have cost you 369.16 ounces of gold, okay? These are 10 ounce um, American uh, gold eagles. So you would have needed, <laughs> um, if these were one ounces, you would have needed 370 and you would have gotten a little change back, all right? In today's money, gold being 1850 an ounce, that would be $682,956 and 15 cents. 682, 956 and 15 cents. Okay? Almost three quarters of a million dollars in gold. All right? Rent, $115 a month. All right? That would be 3.25 ounces of gold, which in today's money would be $6,018.39. You can get a lot of house for $6,018.39. So here's how I look at it, guys. Here's how I want to explain when we say, when we precious metals, gold, silver stackers talk about this is a hedge against inflation, that we're going to stack we are going to stack to the moon. We're gonna protect ourselves from inflation. Here's what I'm talking about, okay? This five ounce silver bar costs $165, okay? One week of groceries for my family of four is $165. This silver represents a week's worth of groceries every week for the rest of my life, regardless of what happens with inflation, because silver and gold precious metals have an inverse relationship to the dollar and inflation. So this, regardless of what the cost of the groceries is, this five ounces of silver is going to pay for it. All right? Rent, mortgage, whatever. One half an ounce of gold is about rent for me, okay? And it will always be rent for me. So this is how I'm protecting myself against inflation. If you stack cash, your cash devalues with inflation. Have you seen the price of lumber lately? Okay, so because of precious metals and their inverse relationship to the dollar, it is important that you stack this to protect yourself. And I'm not saying back up the Brinks truck. I'm not giving financial advice here. I'm just telling you that this is how I see it. And this is why I stack it. So when you hear a silver stacker talk to you and say, hey, this is a hedge against inflation. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about the standard of living. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. I hope that I earned your subscription today if I, had, if I did. Please go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Give me a like because that's going to help me beat the YouTube algorithm. And um, you know, if, if someone you know can benefit from this, please go ahead and hit the share button. And I sure appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Thanks.